All right, folks, uh, day three on the batteries without being charged. I just want to make a point here. I want to clear it up because um, some people think probably that's not true, but I can show you. If you see here, when I connected the batteries before, you guys probably noticed this. There's an amber light that tells you the batteries were kind of no 100% charge because that's how we get shipped and let's come to the meter now at uh, uh, three days straight you can see here is 49.2 I don't want it to get to a 49 you know um, my cutoff was uh, 51.8 but I was I wasn't home I just came back from work and this is what I saw on the system, which I don't want the system to run really low. I don't want that because anytime the batteries go way dead, this is not, not that bad. I can just get the calculation right now. It might be about three point, it might be about 3.7 or 3.6, which is Pancel, which is uh, still um, good for the thresh. It's not on a 48, you know. Um, well, I don't like that, but, um, <clears throat> just to see and push it is an experimental since I'm doing this for, to know exactly my threshold or to see if, um, a, something has to happen. I know my batteries can take me all the way to three days straight, but I mentioned that the last time I did the calculations and everything. And, uh, guys, it would have been a 50.8. So it passed the 50.8 now to 49.2. Just to make it clear, because it's not something you're gonna fabricate, it's not something you're gonna make up, but it's something to show. It is educational and this is experimental stuff I'm dealing with here. And um, I'm doing it for myself, you know, to make sure that anytime. I was going to go low in case of any crisis. Maybe I can bring my batteries to this if I have to. Because if it comes to life and death, or maybe it's a supporting machine, a life support machine, and I have to give power to a neighbor or a loved one or whatever, I can do that. I don't mind. The batteries can go. I don't care to save a life. So... That's the thing. So I'll, it's 49.2 volt. And you can see the amber light is showing that the batteries are getting low. Um, if you look at the description right here, the yellow is a green. The G is for full. Y is okay. And um, the R, which is uh, okay. The Y is uh, yellow. You can see that it's kind of low. And um, why is low? So you can see how everything is going here. But well, guys, I uh, just want to give you all the uh, info here and see what I'm dealing with. And we're going to go about charging the batteries and get to where they're supposed to be. And we we call it a day. Well, guys, this is my test. And I hope you like because if that was we have sun all day. For the past three days and i've been doing my test since january 10th you can go back and look at my videos since i started posting videos on lithium batteries and you will see that's the time i stop using solar i shut down the thing so it has been approximately three months without solar and since that time we've been having even a bad weather it wasn't a good time either to to you know try to harvest a power because the panels are all covered with snow but now if i can show you we still have a few snow you can see the snow on the ground and let me shoot over there see that roof over there it's all empty now no snow and this is just past um um 1904 hours it's about seven four after seven p.m in the evening so you see that so um, all these past three days, I would have been harvesting a lot of power, okay? But I decided not to.
because I'm doing my scientific experiment and I want to make sure what I talk about and that's what exactly I don't want to do experiments when a crisis happened because it's not a good time to make the experiment. That's like that, that's like a, a doomsday. But anyway, let's charge the batteries and see how everything's gonna go back from here. Live from the command center JW Soul USA in Minnesota. Bye for now. As we charge you now, you can see the flashing thing. Is the relay is gonna connect? And let's take it at four. Let's say uh, five after seven. Okay, the relay connect. Let's come here and see. Amber light is on two amber lights because of the one is the grid and one tells you it's a low battery. Battery is getting low. So you can hear it, the odd back. So it's going to take some time to bring that light to go off completely. We went back to the safe zone and we are pulling approximately 1500 watts. And 100 watt is going to the load. The two, uh, the refrigerator and the freezer is running right now. So as soon as that um, 49.6 turns to 50, then that amber light is gonna go off on the inverter, and we are back on the safe, safest zone. That uh, is not like a threatening. Uh, bat battery threatening or whatever you call it or battery whatever but this is cool three days straight I just make it um, <clears throat> a point of duty to make this video and leave the system to go that far so just make a want to make a point and not like trying to brag but the only thing I know my system can go three days as i mentioned i add one battery more one pack that gives me the um the seven kilowatt and um stay tuned because you might probably gonna be seeing another i don't know pack coming in that's gonna be extending the days of my battery service okay it's gonna be maybe one or two so add two more you know so it's gonna give me almost a week a week of power without any solar connected into it and without any power or if there's a power interruption then I can go for a week that's what I want okay the light just changed right there see what I was telling you guys that's why I kept the video going went back to green let's check the voltage here I told you guys 50 volt exactly what i told you guys that's what happened at 50 volt is gonna go green and that's what happened so we are back so the batteries were not in danger or anything because we just went to about um, four millivolt under the 50 volt so we are okay thanks for watching guys love you and wish you all the best stay tuned for more updates and more tests coming live from this channel more educational um, videos coming up live from JW Solar USA on lithiums and different topics I want to talk about. I have more experiments. Stay tuned for that. Anytime I post my video, make sure you check it out and or turn the notification bell. That will help you to um, tell you when I posted a new video. Bye for now.